Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Golden Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. So we're going to start in the middle of his face with his nose, and his head is actually in an angle. So I'll draw his head in an angle and then straighten the body out. So let's start in the middle of his face. So right about here, I'm going to draw the top of the nose. So start with a straight line that goes across. So imagine the head's going this way, so it's tilted. From the sides of this point on the nose, I'm just going to draw two diagonal lines coming out. And I connect these two points with an upward curve. Kind of goes like this, and then I'm going to color this in black. Okay, and then from here I'm going to find the center of that bottom of the nose and draw a line that goes straight down. So 45, or sorry, a 90 degree angle from the line of his face straight down. From here I'm going to curve on the side of his face two circles that wrap around to that point there. So starting on the side of the nose on the left, come around and then connect to that point in the bottom of his nose. On the right side, we're going to do the exact same thing. So coming around, and again, I'm going to check back and forth, making sure that I got the right shape and the same size on both sides. So now that they're even, I'm going to draw the two teeth um, on either side. So here, I'm going to draw a line down, across, and then back up. I'll do the same thing on the right side. So two teeth, there's a gap in the middle. And from here, I'm going to go up and draw the eyes. So the inside of the eyes, starting right beside the nose, I'm going to go over to the left a little bit and draw a curve that goes up. On the right side, I'll do the exact same thing, but in the opposite direction. And then for the tops, I'm just going to round up the tops. So you can see a slight hard break right in the inside there. From the side here, I'm going to again come down to the sides. Like so. And on this side, I'm going to have some wires hanging out of his eye. So what I'm going to do from this point is just draw an arch like that, go across, and then draw another arch, and then connect that point to the inside of the eye with an upward curve. And then on this side, all I need to do is connect those two points with an upward curve. On this side here, on the left side of that eye, I'm just going to draw some depth. Okay, so that same line just inside of that eye. So I'm going to take this line here on the right, just draw it a little bit on the inside there on the left. In the middle of these eyes and the openings, I'm just going to draw a little circle, and this will be for the little dots in the eye. I'm going to go ahead and color the inside of that eye black. Now if I'm going a little bit too fast, you can always pause the video, get caught up, and then play the video again. If you're watching my channel for the first time, and this is a little bit too fast for you. You can always go and check out my speed draw first, just to get a preview of what you'll be drawing. Okay, so that's all colored in. Now on the side here, see where these arches are that I drew? On the one side, I'm just going to draw a curve. On the other side, I'll draw the exact same curve. And on this side, I'm just going to switch it up and go in the opposite direction on both sides. And I'll just cap it off at the ends. Okay, so we've got some wires hanging out of the eye. Let's go down to the mouth. So in here, I'm just going to draw the inner part of the mouth. So starting up here, roughly about here, I'm going to draw a curve that comes down. On the other side, I'm going to draw a curve that comes down. And I'll go straight across, but with a slight upward curve. Okay, now that's the inside of the mouth. Now I'm going to go into the cheeks, into the head. Okay, so here, right where I started that in, inner part of the mouth, I'm just going to curve outwards on both sides, kind of like that. And from here, I'm just going to come up to the top of the head, but I'm going to leave space for my hat. So right about here, I'm going to curve up, kind of stop right about there. On the right side, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just checking back and forth. I'm going to be looking left and right both times, just to make sure that I have the right height, the right shape, that sort of thing. And then from here at the top, between these two points, I'm just going to connect them with an upward curve like this. This is the brim of the hat. From here, I'm going to pull the two points up and then connect those with an upward curve. Same kind of curve that I did on the bottom. Then from here, I'm just going to curve in the opposite direction, the two ends. And from there, I'm going to connect that with an upward curve again. Now from here on this side, I'm going to curve out on this side, I'm going to curve out in the opposite direction and then cap that off at the top with a curve like so. And then again, from the same points, I'm going to come inward in the opposite direction. This will give the hat some depth. 
Okay, so now that we have the hat, we need to draw some eyebrows. So just above each eye, I'm going to draw a curve that's same, that follows basically the same contour as the top of the eye. And then I'm going to taper outwards as I get towards the middle of the face. Cap that off and color that eyebrow in black. Again, on the right side, I'm going to draw a curve that follows the contour of that eye. Raise the inner part and then taper out as I go to the outside. Then I'll color that in black. Okay, now let's return back to the jaw again. So now that I have that shape in, all I need to do is follow the inside of the mouth on the outside. So going around on both sides, like so, and then connecting those, those two points with a curve. And you can see that I'm going to go a little bit deeper in the middle. And all I need to do in the middle here is just draw a couple sets of teeth. So one, two, three, four. I'll draw a couple on the sides here, so same little curves. I'm just going to draw two more on either side. So there's the inner part of the mouth, and again, you can go in and color the inside of the mouth black. For those that are watching the channel for the first time again, I am using a fine point Sharpie marker for all my drawings and lessons on just regular ink paper. So this is like the same stuff that you would get if you're printing something in a, in a copy machine. And the reason why I use Sharpie is because you kind of get like nice finished quality art at the end of it without having to mess around or erase any lines. That's just the way that I like to draw. Okay, let's go up to the side of the head here. So he's got one ear that's exposed. So on the side here, I'm just going to imagine the, eye, the ear is going to be pointing this way. So let's draw a straight line across. And from here, I'm going to connect the two points with a curve. So this is sort of like a circle that kind of gets cut off at the end. And then I'm going to draw a line on the inside and just kind of wrap around a trim on the inside. So it's basically a smaller version of that ear. And then I'm going to draw two lines that kind of connect that ear to the head. On the side of the ear, on the side of the head here, I'm going to draw where the ear used to be. So I'm just going to draw a curvy line that kind of comes down. I'll do the exact same shape right beside it, and then I'll cap that off with a line. And I'm going to do that again just behind it. So I'm just doing a little bit of an overlap here. Kind of comes behind, and then cap that off. And if you want, you can draw a little bit of detail. So a couple of lines that stick out of the, the wires like that. You can even do that on the inside of the eye as well if you want, kind of like that. All right, now let's get into the body. But before I draw the body, I'm going to draw the legs. So in most of the images that I see of Fre uh, Golden Freddy, his legs are in front of his body. So let's draw the shins first, okay? So this one on the right, on the left side first. So I'm going to kind of imagine, okay, this is where he's sitting. These are where his feet are. This is where the knees are. So on this side, I'm going to start with a curve like that. This is the ankle joint. And from here, I'm going to just imagine this is where the shin is. So starting on the left side, I'm going to come up around and back down and meet up on the right. From here, I'm just going to connect these two points again with an upward curve, the opposite direction. And let's draw a little bit of detail inside this joint. So I'm going to draw two lines on one side and then two lines on the other. And then I'm going to kind of draw a line that connects them across the middle. And I'm just going to curve up the ends on the outside like that. And then I'm, all I need to do is just color this part and the bottom black. The area in the middle in between and then just on the right side as well so this sort of shows a little bit of the mechanics under the foot so now I'm gonna have to draw the toes so the toes come first because it's on top of the actual foot so the middle foot uh, toe first so here I'll imagine the center I'm gonna draw an upward curve like this okay so an arch and then the bottom I'm just connecting with an upward curve like that I'll draw the same shape on the right side I'm going to draw these toes three times. So on the left side here, I'm going to start in the center and move to my left. And then curve the bottom out. And then all I need to do is start from the center of the top of the left foot, or left toe, and curve up. On the right toe, I'll curve up. So right into that joint there. Okay, so now that we have that leg, you can go ahead and draw some cracks. So basically the, the crack could be any shape you want. So just kind of like a squiggly kind of shape that kind of finishes off and connects at the end. 
And then on the right side, I'm just going to mirror that one right side there and then color the left side in black. Okay, now let's draw the left leg, or the right leg. This is exactly the same thing. So right about here, I'm just kind of just line this up. Draw a curve, the exact same width. And then again, connecting those two points with a big shin bone, like that. And then again, I'm gonna draw just some wiggly lines, mirror the left side, because this is sort of perspective. It's kind of, you're gonna see that part of the inner part of the leg first. Okay, and then connecting these two points with an upward curve, and again, drawing two lines on one side, two lines on the other, and then connecting them with a line across the middle, and then curling up the ends on either side. And then I'm gonna go in and color in the left side, the middle, and then the right. Okay, now let's draw the toes, same sort of deal. I'm gonna start in the middle, Draw an arch for the middle toe, connect it with an upward curve. On the right, I'll draw an arch, upward curve, and then on the left, I'll work my way to the left side, upward curve, and again, follow, find the middle point of that toe and curve up to that joint. On this side, do the exact same thing. Okay, now that we have the foreground element, now let's draw the body behind it, okay? So right about here is where the shoulders are gonna be. So here I'm gonna draw a downward curve. On the right I'll draw a downward curve. Okay, so from here I'm gonna curve down in towards those legs and behind them. So the body comes down like this, and then this is where the seat is. So I'll draw a line across the bottom. Now here's where the separation is for the hips and the torso. So here I'm just gonna draw a line across I'll move up a little bit and draw the exact same thing. And inside here, I'm just going to color that in black. So this is the gap between the upper torso and the bottom torso. And if you want to do this now, you can actually draw some more cracks in the body. So here, like I did in the legs, I'm just going to draw a big hole. And then I'll draw some perspective. So taking that outer edge and just duplicating it on the inside. And then I'm going to color the inside black. Okay, and then here, you can actually go in and draw couple just squiggly dots. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now let's get into the shoulders. So, the shoulders on the side. I'm going to take this line here and duplicate it on the left, just outside of that, okay? And from here, I'm just going to round out the shoulder. But as I go along, I'm going to draw a little bit of an indent, like a crack. Imagine this line coming down, and then going across with an upward curve. And then I'm just going to join the shoulder with the body with two lines. On the right side, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So inside, I'll just duplicate that line. I'm going to round up the shoulder, but as I go along, I'll draw an indent, and come down, and then disappear behind that leg. And here, you can just draw a couple more cables if you'd like, coming out. And then now, because I'm running out of paper space, I'm going to have to draw the hands a little bit closer in. So here, uh, I'll probably have to draw the microphone upwards. So here, let's draw a big circle. So here I'm just going to draw a circle like this, and then I'm going to draw two lines across for the microphone detail, like that. Now, I'm going to have to draw the thumb first. So starting right here, I'm going to come into the microphone and curl around and back up. This is the thumb right here. And then right here I'm going to draw the first finger, kind of like an oval, tucked in. So it's kind of round and come, gets tucked in behind that thumb. And then here I'm going to do an overlap, so that same shape, tucked back in. And then one more time, because he's got three fingers tucked in. And then here on the microphone, I'm just going to draw a line that comes down like that on one side. Now I can draw a little bit of the arm, so I'm going to draw this line that kind of curves in. So that's part of the arm going into the hand. Let's go to the other side. And again, because I'm running out of space, I'm going to have to draw the hand sort of just like flat on the ground. So let's start up here, top of the wrist. Come around and curve around like this. I'll go back up here. And I'll do an overlap, come around, and go again one final time for the third finger. And then from here, I'm just going to curve in the forearm into the body. And that's essentially it. There we have it. There's Golden Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please tell your friends about us. We'll see you again soon.